hi hello everyone how are you welcome so much to the chebis kitchen uh if you are a new member here we feel much welcome to the chebis kitchen and if you have not subscribed kindly subscribe like comment and share this video uh so if you if you still remember we had said in the chebis kitchen we will have two segments the first segment is the cooking segment and the second segment is the chebis nuggets so today we're not cooking and uh, we are in the chebby segment First video for the chebby's nuggets so you much welcome and take a seat and relax uh, and be ready to learn learn a lot uh, from the experience I went through when planning for my engagement so from the topic uh, you already know what you are going to talk about today the do's and don'ts and planning for your engagement or wedding go straight to the points or the factors you're going to discuss today so we have the prayer factor we have the financial factor we have the the service providers factor and uh we also have the roles the duty the education um factor and I'm going to start with the prayer factor. Uh, most people, are, or, or rather most partners, uh, when planning for their weddings or when planning for their engagement, tend to underestimate the factor of prayer. Which uh, for me, uh, I believe, or I think it's, very, it's a very important factor. Prayers, without prayers, you will not be able to do um, anything. Actually anything, because... Uh, prayers is the main factor even even for families even for marriages to work it's prayers even for so even for events even for weddings i believe that prayers is the main factor uh people believe that uh if you have money or uh, your event is going to be colorful if you have money your event is going to be the best but uh yes money money contributes a lot but it's prayers it's prayers so if you are there and you're planning your wedding the first thing you should uh do is you are, you're supposed to pray pray about uh your wedding pray about your engagement pray about your ratio pray about your culture because um the devil is a liar and uh, he can bring weird things up which can affect negatively your wedding or your engagement i i remember when i was planning my engagement a friend of mine uh, I, I called a friend and told him uh, i will have a, i'm going to have an engagement in uh, december this blah 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 and uh he gave me one advice he told me sharon listen you know when you're planning your engagement the devil is not happy the devil is not happy and uh it he, he can bring things up which can affect your wedding which can affect your engagement and he told me i want you to be prayerful i want to be you to be watchful i want you to get someone who can pray for you and i did exactly the same thing i remember i used to pray for my engagement i used to pray a lot i remember there was a time i would feel i was feeling like it's like now basana it's like i'm praying a lot it's like I'm, I'm i'm giving our prayers too much but that thing helped me a lot prayers helped me a lot i remember um i get to a friend get you a friend who can pray for you get you a friend uh who, whom you can pray together it can also be a family member it can be a relative it can be anyone who is in your circle who can diligently pray for you so get someone who can pray for you like i remember uh, i had this friend of mine uh who used to call me and told me sharon sharon have you prayed for your engagement sharon have you prayed for this and this sharon have you prayed about this and this and uh if you are if you are that friend and you watching this video thank you so much you helped me a lot but there's a time we used to take a day in a week to pray and fast about the same and uh it really helped us pray uh you're supposed to pray for the event the d-day you're supposed to pray uh for those who will be traveling over to your event for journey masses you are supposed to pray for the uh your desired weather on that day you're supposed to pray for the service providers pray that you find favor before them pray that you find favor before your friends pray that you find favor before even the relatives and pray that you find favor and um before god event so it's important to pray if you didn't know 
kindly if you are planning for any event i think it's not even wedding alone even birthdays even baby showers even housewarming even business warming i think you're supposed to pray yeah pray 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 so the next uh the second factor is um finance which is a broad one but uh i'm going to pinpoint uh specific topics or specific points on uh what you're going to discuss so uh for the finance uh, part i think uh the best thing to start with is to consult with the service providers before you sit down with your partner before you sit down as a couple to budget for the your wedding you're supposed to consult with the uh, service providers uh the tents tents and they call the shelves the mc the pa system everything if you're going to do it in a hotel consult with that hotel if you are doing uh you're going to do your event uh in a garden please consult with the, those who are going to provide you that those services because uh if you consult with them it will help you not to over budget it or under budget it you'll get a rough idea of how much you're going to spend on your wedding uh and once you get the budget once you know once you've consulted with the service uh providers once you consulted with the event planners now you will have a real budget now when you have a real when you uh the moment you've had your budget as a couple now sit down and discuss the the source of income how are you going to fund um the wedding maybe if you're going to secure a loan maybe if you're going to if you have a savings plan maybe if you're going to depend maybe on your friends maybe if the family is going to come through for you people so sit down and discuss the source of this income the source of the funds uh, of your wedding so uh if you're going to secure a loan maybe one advice i can give is that uh don't uh because no, just because you're going to get a loan don't go and over over budget it don't go and uh because like i'm just going to get a loan it's the money which is available don't take a huge loan which you will end up regretting about it don't take a loan that will um make you miserable for almost five years in your marriage and uh, the purpose of you doing a wedding is to to be happy happy ever after so don't get into your uh, don't get yourself into troubles of um financial troubles that will make you suffer for the next three years for the next five years for the next 10 years uh get a financial advisor who will advise you on the same concerning the loans uh if you're going to if you think uh your finances will come from friends um it's a bit tricky because um even the friends you think uh they are going to support you have their own things also they have their plans also they have their things also to do and uh others are broke to support you so um if you think uh your friends are going to support you you need to rethink about this unless there's those friends whom you really count on though the you can count on friends and they disappoint you i don't mean like uh friends cannot support you for us our uh, friends came f out for us uh, a thousand times friends supported us i can't say friends can support but don't over depend on them because them also have their own things them also have their own needs so have a, a clear a clear part a clear thing that they are a clear, have a clear source of, of income but not friends let friends come and top up what is there if you have a savings plan if you are a source of income for the wedding is savings plan i think that's the best uh, part i think that is the best thing to do that's the best thing to do because uh if let's say you you having a wedding in december and it's general so sit down with your spouse sit down with your partner and um analyze how much are we going to save uh every month for us to to save enough for our wedding if it's ten thousand if it's twenty thousand just sit down and discuss the amount you'll be saving so that you'll be able to ask something for your wedding um another thing maybe uh is the family family comes through for you uh if your maybe parents are well off maybe you have you have sisters who are well off you have brothers who are well off maybe they they might not be well off but they will they are willing to support so it will be a plus for you if you have 
such kind of family members like us uh, our family came through for us and uh we really appreciate if you are watching this and you're my family thank you so much uh for coming through for us during our wedding our engagement uh and may god bless you so uh family. also family is the best uh source of income for your wedding because you know they say family will always be there for you and indeed family uh will come out for you financially emotionally and everything because we're planning a wedding is not all about only finance it's about fine it's also about emotional it's about advice it's about uh people telling you sharon you're supposed to do this sharon you're not supposed to do this sharon you're supposed to you're supposed to even sit down and relax first before doing anything because uh you need people you need people because i think during that period of planning your wedding or your engagement you you tend to be an overthinker you tend to be like your emotions are everywhere your your thoughts are everywhere is this going to be okay is is the uh is the event going to be good is the wedding going to be okay is the wedding going to be good is so and so going to show up for my wedding is so and so going to support me is so and so going to attend my wedding uh what will people think about this wedding what will people mm -mm. you need to do something that is going to make you and your spouse happy not anyone else do it for you do it for you do something that will make you happy you that don't need two of you another factor is uh the service providers how I, hey for service providers it i think this is the main this is the main this is the core of any wedding this is the core of any uh, engagement without service providers you don't have a wedding without service providers you don't have your engagement without service providers you don't have very russia you don't have a quite so service providers are the main factor service providers are the center of your wedding so before you settle down to any service provider please avoid going to online to pick your service provider avoid going to googling your uh, googling the service providers who, 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 who provide this and this no the best thing to do uh with service providers is use referrals referrals are the best thing to do with uh, service providers because when you use referrals at least there's someone somewhere who have tested them there's someone somewhere who, who have tested their their service and they know actually they provide the best in this uh this kind of service they do the they do best in this sector they these ones do best in this sector so like for me all the service providers who were in my event were all were referrals someone somewhere referred me to them and indeed they were the best i remember i uh, and um i remember i saw uh even the cake my cake was from nandi and i'm in kericho people were like how did you go to nandi to get your cake and yet you are in kericho but uh believe me you it was the best it was the best the service was the best the price was the best uh the cake itself was the best so use uh, use referrals uh, because and um you might go to online search for them yes they will be posting videos they will be posting things you will not be sure if it's their things you will not be sure if indeed the cake they are posting online is they are the ones who prepare that cake they are the one who pack that cake you don't know if the decor they have posted online they are the one who've done the decor so avoid going uh picking your service providers from online i'm sorry if you do your business online but um i think uh if you're planning your wedding referrals is the best thing also Mm, with the service providers have a pool of service providers don't have only one service provider because they can disappoint you at the last minute so have a pool of service dis uh, have a pool of service providers so that you can have a place to pick uh the best from when you picking i want you uh, picking a service provider the first thing you see is the services the pricing the location uh from where the event will be so when you have a pool of uh service you will be able to pick the best the best service provider and uh if you're in Kericho and uh you you pick it, if you're in Kericho you will not pick a service provider from Nairobi because these people will 
add their transportation fee to the budget they will add the transportation fee to you to the final price so pick people who are within who are around where you you are you going to host your event also this depends with the the money you have the amount you have maybe you are you are okay picking someone from nairobi if you're okay picking someone who is in nairobi or if you're okay picking someone who is in eldoret or if you're okay picking someone who is in Galicia and you're far from that place it's up to you that uh really depends on you but my advice is pick someone uh who is within where you uh you will host your event another factor is um a duty is delegation don't be the center of everything delicate duties delicate roles because you are not a superhuman you're not going to do things on your own for me i remember for me most of the things actually i didn't i did not do most of the things most of, most of the things were done uh by the people who are around me my inner circle and it helped me a lot because you will not be here you will not be there you, you will be at you know during that time i think <laughs> most people are not sane allow me to say this because uh but it's not adding up so when you delegate uh roles and duties to other people those people will tend uh to give their best in the sector they have been assigned and at the end of the day it's going to be to produce amazing results so you can maybe pick one of your brother to to uh deal with the tents and deco pick one of your sisters to deal with the mc pick one of your friends uh to deal with um with the maybe the the grounds where, where you will host your event uh, uh pick maybe you can uh, pick one of the family members to deal with the the food so this one will going to help you a lot it's going to help you help you a lot um another thing uh i think I, i'm supposed to say is uh when you have your service providers don't let them do the work alone assign them someone if you assign them someone they will they're going to do their duties uh diligently so as if their chefs assign to people to make sure that everyone is uh, to, to make sure during the event everyone is well fed to, to make sure during the event all food are prepared to make sure during the the event uh everyone gets uh to eat so for the tent and deco also assign people assign two or three people that will uh oversee their work so that they can if you if you want maybe this color and this color that they want to tell them oh blend this one and this one or oh, put flowers this uh this place the red carpet is supposed to be here so have someone uh to 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 supervise their work that's the work that's the actual one also have have someone to to help you with the transportation of people you know uh during that time during the uh d day you will not uh have your phone so have someone who knows your friends those people who will be coming so that uh he will help with the direction during the event because i remember during mine there are friends who only had my number and they don't have any other people's now any other person's number so they could call they could text and that time i'm in the event i'm the I'm, I'm in the middle of the event and i can't talk i can't text and uh they end up um uh, taking a lot of time uh asking for direction but it's good the good part the good thing is you are supposed to get someone who knows the exact direction to your home it can be your brother it can't your family one of the family members and give uh the numbers your friends numbers to him or her so that uh, he can help the direction uh, matters he can direct them uh, during the event i think um that's all about uh the plan the do's and don'ts when planning your wedding i've shared this based on my experience what i went through when i was planning for mine and uh from this video you're going to learn if not one at least uh if not two at least even one thing so thank you so much for watching I'm looking forward to sharing uh, more videos with you guys. I think that's all. And thank you so much for watching this video. Let's see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you. And if you're not subscribed, kindly subscribe, share, like, and comment.